Okay, what's up, YouTube? It is Pacey AI one more time. About to give you another video. Remember to leave a like, share, and subscribe. So I want to talk to you guys about Luma Dream Machine. Now, Luma Dream Machine has been a platform that's been out for a minute. This is a AI video generation platform mainly. They also are doing AI images right now, and they're blending a lot of their Luma Lab stuff into their new Dream Machine platform because Luma Labs was known for AI images before they started doing AI video. Now, this is their new boards feature. As you can see, these are some different boards that I created or that Luma Labs have as default. And essentially, you can go ahead and create your own board by just clicking the plus sign. You could go ahead and start out with one of the templates that they have or you could create your own template by prompting it right here, putting the image, things of that nature. I'm going to go with one of the predefined templates. So I'm going to say, show her looking around and her hair flying in the breeze. So I'm going to create that one. So I'm going to go ahead and start. So as you can see, this is a board. Now you can name your board, whatever you want to name your board. And what this is essentially is something similar to flow state in Leonardo. Now, Leonardo recently released some really cool features that I want to talk about in one of my next videos. But essentially what this is, is that it just allows you to just create and it reduces the need to always prompt. So essentially it's giving you different ideas that you can then choose from and you can use these ideas to ultimately create what you're looking for. So show her looking around her hair flying in the breeze. That is a prompt that I started with. These visuals capture a woman with hair in motion set against diverse backdrops like cliffs, cityscapes, fields, and forests, evoking freedom and curiosity. So essentially it's just showing the woman in different scenes evoking freedom and curiosity and then you can go ahead and click brainstorm right now brainstorm what this will do it will give you other ideas to depict this woman in different scenes to give you something that you may want to go with instead of what was initially given to you so here are some ideas that it's giving you saying capture a woman on the rooftop with her hair dramatically blowing against the skyline illustrate a woman in a bustling city street with her hair caught in the wind i could go ahead with one of these and we have a prompt right here that depicts this i want to if i want to use this prompt and create this scenery i can do that and we're going to get four images that we can then use to create sort of a theme for this woman the location of this woman where this woman is going to be stuff like that so we have this right here so I can choose this and I can say, OK, I want this to be the reference or I want more like this. So give me more like this. So what it's going to do is that it's going to use that image as a template and give me more images similar to that in that theme, in that style so that I can then create from that. If I see one of these images and I'm like, OK, I want something more like this, I can go ahead again and ask for more like that. So it essentially is reducing the need to constantly prompt for what you want. You give it a initial prompt of what type of theme, what type of scenery, what type of subject you're looking for in the beginning. And then it will allow you to use images to prompt new images. So this is kind of a way to reduce prompting because one of the, one of the banes of AI is that you constantly have to be prompted. And that's one of the things that people have complained about. I remember a guy made a video about that and he was right about the fact that we're recreating the whole CLI infrastructure, which doesn't really, really make any sense because we move past that. So to go back to the command line system, that's crazy. I mean, and the fact that AI has become a whole com command line ecosystem, it really creates bottlenecks for creativity and for being able to get ideas that you want out there. So this is a lot easier and it just, it's just a quicker way to get to what you want to get to. Now you can go ahead and take any one of these images and then you can use it as a reference. So what using an image as a reference is, is you can essentially take this subject within the image, reference this subject in some other scenery. 
So I'm going to use a character tag. So essentially what the character tag is going to do is going to reference the character in the image. So I'm going to use a character tag and I'm going to say character sitting around a picnic table in a park laughing and talking with her friends. So I'm going to go ahead and send that. Okay, so it gave me these outputs right here. I'm going to go ahead and say more like this one. So it's some different outputs. These are obviously kids. These are some other friends, I think. And I'm not really seeing the main character in these ones, so I'm just going to use these ones and see if this is a little bit better. Okay, so this is a different style, a bit more Pixar style, but that's fine. I actually go with the Pixar style. So I'm going to go ahead and make a video now. So I'm going to use this Pixar style to make a video. So I'm going to say, I'm going to use pretty much the same prompt. I'm going to just copy this prompt again. And I'm just going to paste that right there. Let's go ahead and generate this video. Okay, so there we go. We have two videos right here. There's one video. And obviously, they're talking. The characters are in the video talking. Pixar style. A lot of crazy stuff going on right there. Let's go to the second one. This one looks a little bit better. And essentially, you can go ahead and say more like this. You can extend it. I can go ahead and say more like this. So it will generate me new videos. And I can basically pick from that to see which one I would rather. And I could go from there. So definitely, guys, this is a really, really cool feature. Definitely check this out. Link in the description to Dream Machine Luma Labs. Definitely a new feature you guys definitely need to check out. So let me know what you guys think about this one. Have a great day. Pacey AI signing out. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out more videos like this in the future. But have a great day. Peace.